Good evening, YouTube Live. Sergic here. And we are going to be taking a quick look at Insurgency today. This is something I've wanted to do for a while. Um, make a video, that is, because I lost the last eight months of my life to Elder Scrolls Online. And um, <laughs> I'm going to my MMO Anonymous meetings. I'm back on the wagon, I swear. It'll never happen again. <laughs> um, but without further ado, let's let's talk about this game. Because I'm really excited to talk about it. It's It's very fresh. It's very different. Um, as you can see, I have no heads up display. There's no little name over that guy that just ran across the street's head telling him, telling me that he's an enemy. And just the simple little additions of, well, not additions, just a simple little removal of a couple elements to change up the formula that we've all been sold a million times really, really changes the atmosphere and can change the feel of the game a lot. Uh, there's a lot more emphasis on, on teamwork and cooperation, and when you run into a, a hallway or a room and there's bullets exploding on the ground all over you, you have no idea where they're coming from. Uh, there's You don't know how many bullets you have left in your clip because you forgot to count when you were returning fire. It creates a, a totally different feeling, and as dumb as that sounds, you know, oh, there's no HUD, so what? Um, it really, really is nice having an unfamiliar atmosphere in a per first person shooter because if you've played COD a million times, you never are surprised. There's nothing surprising about playing another game of Team Deathmatch because you've done it a million times and nothing can surprise you. But uh, like I just repeated like five times, just the simple little taking out the HUD uh, changes that all really quick. Gives you a much more urgent and exciting atmosphere. Uh, the game types, the game types could be the game types could be a little dry. It's just your usual, you know. There's got a couple objectives. Go fight over them, and they rehash that in a lot of ways. Uh, there's a couple. I think there's like a VIP game type stuff like that. But you can kind of tell it's not a AAA game. Which I don't really mind, and you know most people don't nowadays. But um, other than that, I really don't have many complaints. I've had a few issues with the netcode, which I usually don't um, with games, but nothing terrible. And I only really have good things to say so far. So um, other than that, I think I'm gonna take a quick break and find a better server for us to play on. But first I'll see if I can get a kill for you guys. And after ow dude. And after that we'll pick up where we left off. You got bullet penetration, you got cool particle effects, plaster falling off the walls, all that good stuff. Oh I have an IED, would you look at that? Um the the weapon spray is really cool. It kind of, you know, you point around the weapon with your leading edge as you would if you were trying to clear a room in real life. And I don't mind that at all. Ah, uh, he killed me. My own teammate killed me. All right, so I'm going to go try to find a better server. I'll try to get some kills to show you guys what this game is actually like. And uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back to Insurgency. And uh, where we left off, I was getting my ass kicked. And first thing we're going to do when this game stops freaking out is adjust the audio settings so you guys can hear me. Because wouldn't that be great? Um, voice. <laughs> let's get rid of that. Um, music. Let's turn that down. Master volume. We can, we can leave that. Okay. Much better. Alright, let's do this. Um, like I was saying before... When I used to play Halo as a kid, um, it was... Wow, we have two waves left. <laughs> I've been gone for a while. It was awesome, because even though it was a bunch of little kids and no one really cooperated, like, tactically, per se, you know, we would call out enemy positions, we would, you know, tell people, oh, he just killed me, he's right behind you, and um, with modern consoles especially, you don't really see that anymore, because... You know, the Xbox One ships with the Kinect mic, and that's garbage, and almost everybody just turns it off right away instantly, and that's that's kind of lame, you know? You don't really get to have that experience like you did, even when Call of Duty, uh, 
you know, first got popular with Modern Warfare and all that stuff, it was different. It was different because even though, like I said, there's no tactical cooperation like I really like, you know, there was at least a lot higher percentage of people, you know, almost as high as the percentage you see now on Counter-Strike, you know, calling out enemy positions and um, just generally communicating with each other, even if it's not, you know, planning your next move, per se, which you almost never see in modern first-person shooters. Got that guy. That's awesome. Um, that's the first person I've killed all day. Let's see, what are we going to do? Um, yeah, so this kind of brings that back. You know, I, I would imagine that a lot higher percentage of people in this game actually communicate with each other than your average game because it's it's required. You don't have a crosshair, you have no radar, you don't have kill streaks, perks. It's not an instant respawn where you could just mash X or whatever have you to respawn. <laughs> uh, and, um, you know, it's just, it's not as easy to to pick up and play without the assistance of another person. And I like that. It brings me back. It brings me back. <clears throat> Because most of the time when I play this game by myself, I am, um, I, I got my mic on and I'm cooperating and communicating and vocalizing and all these good things. I'm gonna get, this is like a, this is like the, the middle of Ivory Tower on Halo 2, just asking to get blown up. And I seen a guy running over there just now. Uh, I didn't miss him, but I'm not gonna shoot him. Because my teammate probably has that covered, the other guy in the middle over there. But yeah, like I said, it's just the simple things that make this game better than your average shooter. It's not the same old crap, radar, motion sensor, regenerating health, yada, yada, yada. Um, hopefully this guy didn't run too far, because I would like to blow his head off. Got him. See that? One shot, one kill. Just like real life, you get hit with a 5.56 five, round... You might not die instantly, but you're you're hitting the ground for sure. And uh, I have Bravo no now. idea where that guy ran off to. I'm hoping we can ah catch up to him. That's frustrating. Yeah, I told you I suck at first-person shooters. Um, like I said, of course the pressure's on too because <laughs> I'm recording. We're live. Ah, uh, oh no. And, of course, you don't get that automatic nice reload when you hit the bottom of your clip. Your guy just knows, oh, I'm out of, I'm out of bullets. Let me, you know, my psychic, my psychic Spidey says to tell me I'm out of bullets. Let's reload. Um, you don't have that luxury. And also, look, I can see around my scope. And as I'm dicking around, ah, no! And as I'm dicking around, you can see these guys running around out there, so you really have to keep an eye on your ammo counts, uh, there's bullet penetration, walls and whatnot. I'm reloading. Of course, friendly fire is always on, um, you gotta think about your ammo, you gotta think about recoil, um, there's real recoil, no auto center hey, you after your gun goes off. It's not as simulator as Arma, per se, obviously. I just, that was beautiful. I don't know if he... I don't think you can slide. <laughs> Unless you can, I got him. So that's cool. And yes, I'm camping my ass off right now, but this is supposed to be a little more realistic, obviously, than your Contact! average shooter. And in real life, I would probably camp my ass off, too, if there was a bunch of guys swarming this choke point over here. Objective. I don't have grenades or anything, and this is not a short-range weapon, so I'm going to back off a little bit. In fact, I'm going to lay down. This is it. Oh, man. We have no waves left. At least I, uh... At least I picked up the pace at the end there. This is cool. I'm happy with myself. Is that a dude, or is that just trees? I don't know. I think I'm going to go back up my building. If I can make it. Ugh! Dude, don't scare me like that. This nice adaptive 
Were you just shooting at the wall, dude? If you killed me, I'll be so mad. Oh, man, this is terrifying. This is absolutely horrifying. Okay. Oh. Realized we lost. Uh, I picked it up at the end. You know. 4 to 9. 4 to 9 KD. It's pretty, it's pretty good. I would say, uh... I would say MLG would take me in a second, man. But that's, yeah. like I said, that's not what this game's about. It's about uh, changing it up. And I like it. I like it a lot. So I think we're going to take a break, and I'll be back right after this next match. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I changed my mind. That last segment ended up being a little longer than I thought, so we're probably going to end it here. I'll try to get, you know, a nice kill or two for you guys to end the video on a good note. Um, but other than that, some closing words. I really like this game. Uh, it's, I would definitely say it's worth a try. You guys should all definitely go check it out if uh, you're into first-person shooters and you know, games that require a lot of teamwork. Um, what really makes it different is that sense of disorientation from this game not being like every other console shooter in the book. This is an awesome spot. Not being like every other console shooter in the book. That, you know, having the creature comforts such as radar, ammo count, mini-maps, um... You know, all the general stuff that's clogging up your screen that that you're so used to that makes you feel like you're familiar with a game you've never played before. And that's what's cool about having an indie developer, um, is that... Oh, come on. That's what's cool about having an indie developer, is that they're not afraid to, to go against the grain a little bit and do something that maybe not everybody is used to. Um, because they're not... they're. Hopefully, they're concerned with making a good game, not just making a game that people will be comfortable buying, you know? Um, I certainly was on the fence about this when I first got it. I figured it was just going to be another COD clone, and boy, was I wrong. I'm glad I bought it. I certainly haven't gotten to play it as much as I would like. But um, with all things said, this is what makes me enjoy the game, that just because this guy doesn't have a suppressor, if you're not paying attention, or if he didn't have a suppressor, if you weren't paying attention, he could have shot all the bullets he wanted. You wouldn't have had your mini-map to alert you to run in there instantly, spin around, and pop two in his face, you know, because you had your psychic powers telling you what's around the corner. And that's a big part about what makes this game stand out. So, yes, I would give it a thumbs up. If you're a shooter fan, you should definitely try it out. And even if you're a fan of the more popular, uh, more run-of-the-mill shooters, which, uh, there's nothing wrong with that, you know? Call of Duty may be repetitive, and the, the design may be uninspiring after the last five years, but it's a good game. If it wasn't a good game, a lot of people wouldn't play it, you know? But there's a lot more out there, and that's what the idea of this was. So, have a good one, guys. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. And there, there, okay, all right, all right, happy now, <laughs> I killed someone, have a good one guys, like and subscribe if you want to see more, have a good night, and I appreciate you guys watching my video, insurgency gets a thumbs up.